oatmeal tastes like glue. Morning, Jamie. Oh, hi, Harriet. Morning, Vicky. Oh, hi, Harriet. <laughs> hey, is that for me? No, it's a birthday present for my mother. Can I hide it in your house? I can't hide it in mine. Why not? My mother will find it. She's nosier than I am. <laughs> She's got a bigger nose. <laughs> if your nose were as big as your mother's, you'd be top heavy and fall on your face. <laughs> but Al, Vicky, how about it, Jamie? If you hide this for me, I'll do you a favor sometime. Promise. If I'm lying, I'm dying. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll hide the present in that cupboard over there. My mother is sure hard to buy presents for. She has terrible taste and a weird body. <laughs> what did you buy your mother for your mother's birthday, Vicky? I don't have a mother. Oh, then what do you buy your father for his birthday? You are wrong, Harriet. Your nose is bigger than your mother's. <laughs> Hi! Hi, Jamie. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Hi Mrs. Mrs. Brindle. Harriet, uh, what are you doing in here? You're going to be late for school. I was just going, Mother. I, uh, I thought you might invite me to breakfast. Oh, Harriet, how rude. Here I am trying to bring you up with good manners. You keep taking after your father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know we had company. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Joan. All right, now, Harriet, run along to school. Oh, you too, Jamie. Well, you can take Harriet. Come on, hop to it. Okay. Can I carry your books, Harriet? Thank you. I'll carry them in front of my face so nobody will recognize me. <laughs> He's always making jokes. Uh, he really adores Harriet. Oh? I wonder why. <laughs> uh, was there something that you wanted, Bonnie? Oh, no, 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 no. I just uh, happened to be looking out my window and I happened to see Harriet come in here. <laughs> Harriet said her mother's as nosy as she is, and she has a bigger nose. <laughs> Harriet said that. If I'm lying, I'm dying. <laughs> you know, Harriet was always a lovely child until she started to talk. <laughs> Isn't uh, Vicky going to school today? Uh, no. What? Well, Vicky, why aren't you going to school? That's not in my memory bank. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you know, kids nowadays with their computer talk. Oh, hi, Bonnie. Well, good morning, Dad. I was just about to explain to Bonnie that we're taking care of Vicky's education at home temporarily. Yes, that's right. Well, not that it's any of my business, but I don't think it's right. Oh, I agree. See, he agrees I'm right. No, I agree it's none of your business. <laughs> A little joke, Bonnie. <laughs> little joke, Bonnie. <laughs> well, you know, I certainly don't mean to pry. I just have this natural curiosity. You know, Mr. Brindle, he swears that I was a cat in a former life. <laughs> oh. oh, well, bye. Or should I say, meowie? <laughs> now, what are we going to do about Vicky? People keep on asking questions, and we're running out of answers. They're getting suspicious. Yeah, you're right, honey. If anybody finds out she's a robot before she's perfected, well, there goes my invention. <sighs> well, let's face it, Ted. She needs some more programming. She's a woman without a past. I'm a woman without a past. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come home from work a little early and take care of that. Ah, oh, good. Well, what do I do in the meantime about Mrs. Brindle, the curious cat lady? Put a saucer of milk by the door. <laughs> okay, Vicky, turn around. Let's give this a try. Where were you born? I was born on the island of Mahé in the capital city of Victoria. That's why I'm called Vicky. Mahé? <laughs> Where's that? Mahé is an island 1,000 miles east of Africa. Why have her born in such a remote place? Honey, the remoter the place, the better. No record of birth or anything, huh? Oh, good thinking. Uh, but what about her parents? An unfortunate accident took care of them nicely. Oh. Oh, I had another terrible thought. Uh, 
Now, now, what if Vicky is with us for a long time? Well, Jamie's gonna start to grow, and Vicky's gonna remain the same size. No, she won't. Watch. She doesn't even have to be plugged in. We've got her wired for a remote. <laughs> oh, Ted, that's incredible. I can make her smaller, too. Please. Make me normal, please. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Mrs. Lawson? Yes. I'm Mrs. Fernwald. I'm from the Department of Children's Services. I'm responding to an anonymous report of a child named Vicki who's living here and not attending school. Oh! Won't you come in, please? Oh, thank you. Uh, Mrs. Fernwald, uh, this is my husband, Ted. How do you do? And that, uh, this, is Vicki. Hmm. Uh, won't you please sit down? Oh, thank you. And uh, what is Vicki's full name? Go ahead, tell her, Vicky. My full name is Victoria Ann Smith, but I'm better known as Vicky. And when is your birthday, Vicky? I was born the 9th of September, 1975. I am a Virgo with Taurus rising. <laughs> <laughs> Bright little thing, isn't she? Oh, you'd be amazed. <laughs> and what about her parents? Oh, it's a tragic story, an accident. It's still so vivid, it seems like it happened minutes ago. May I ask what sort of accident? A train. A plane. <laughs> well, you see, the, the plane fell on the train. It's really very sad. It's really very sad. <laughs> She's certainly a control child. She's just all cried out. This is very traumatic for her, Mrs. Fernwald. Perhaps we could discuss this privately? Oh, yes, of course. Poor dear. Poor dear. <laughs> Why don't you go to your cabinet? Cabinet? <clears throat> I, I mean, uh, cabinet. That's Francais for small room. <laughs> Ooh la la. Ooh la la, nom de plume. <laughs> Run along, Vicky. <clears throat> you see, her parents were our best friends. And when Vicky was born, Pat and Jim wrote us a letter asking us to take care of Vicky should anything happen to them. It's almost as if they had a premonition. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Vicky was sent to live in a convent. <laughs> so when we got the letter from the nuns telling us about the accident, well, we just opened our home and our hearts to little Vicky. She was so lucky to have you. Of course, I had no idea when I received that anonymous phone call. Of course not. How could you know? I, you were just doing your job. And thank you so much for dropping by. Now, we'll talk about your plans for Vicky's future. Plans? We're, we're planning to take care of her, like her parents asked us to in their letter. Then you'll be adopting her? Of course we'll be adopting her. Oh. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, as a matter of fact, why, well, I, I think I might have a, an adoption application packet with me. Uh, we're in luck. I do have one. <laughs> All you have to do is fill these out and supply the necessary documents. Oh, and of course, I'll need those letters. Letters? Uh, the ones from Vicky's parents and the good nuns. Oh, they're crucial to the adoption. Oh, of course. Well, we have them. They're in our safety deposit box. Right, honey? Right. In the bank. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, Jamie. Oh, honey, uh, this is Mrs. Fernwald. Uh, this is our son, Jamie. 
Hello, Mrs. Fernwald. Why, hello, Jamie. My, what a handsome young man. Aww. <laughs> Perfect family. <laughs> oh, isn't it wonderful, Jamie? You're going to have a little sister. A sister? Mom, are you pregnant? <laughs> oh, Jamie, yeah, she's talking about Vicky. Uh, Mrs. Fernwald is going to help us adopt her. You're kidding. <laughs> He's overwhelmed. <laughs> well, there's nothing more rewarding than seeing a child adopted into a loving home. Well, uh, I'll be going. I'll be back tomorrow to pick up those letters. It was very nice meeting you all. Bye. 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 <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I think we just adopted a robot. It's crazy. How are you going to do this, Dad? I mean, where are we going to get all these documents that we need for Vicky? Honey, there are places that can copy any document and make it look like the real thing. That's illegal. Now, it's just for people, not for robots. I hope so. Or we'll be making license plates that look like the real thing. <laughs> Perfect. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi, Jamie. What's going on? Oh, your father programmed Vicky to write those letters that we need. Uh, from her make-believe parents and the nuns. In different handwriting, of course. Mm. Man, she could be the world's greatest forger. <laughs> How about whipping me up a few $20 bills, Vicky? <laughs> How about me whipping up the seat of your pants, Jamie? <laughs> Well, we've got everything that we need. I hope. Ah, uh -huh. uh, I'll get her. Oh, Mrs. Fernwald. Hello. Uh, come in. Well, I hope you don't mind my coming in your back door. But your nice neighbor, Mrs. Brindle, told me you were in the kitchen. <laughs> Did she also tell you what we had for lunch? Tomato soup and cucumber sandwiches. We have all the papers ready, Mrs. Fernwald. The letters from Vicky's parents and from the wonderful nuns. Oh, excellent. Why, you've certainly been forging ahead. <laughs> That's the correct word, forging. <laughs> well, I'll get these uh, documents filed and you're on your oh, way. Great. <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot. To save you the trouble, I made an appointment for Vicky's physical. Vicky's physical? <laughs> oh, we have to have it. Dr. Elliot works on a lot of our cases. Would tomorrow at three be convenient? Three? Dr. Elliot's quite famous in the medical profession. He makes house calls. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I must have been nuts to think we could adopt a robot. Cheer up, Dad. Maybe Dr. Elliot won't notice Vicky's a robot. Won't notice? When he looks down her throat and sees microchips where her tonsils ought to be? <laughs> Maybe we ought to forget the whole thing and dismantle Vicky. Dismantle Vicky? Oh, no. Dismantle Vicky? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we dismantle Harriet instead? <laughs> Oh, Ted, will you hurry up? Dr. Elliot's gonna be here any minute. Yeah, I'm coming. Okay, we're all set. Jamie, get in here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You said you'd do anything to save Vicky. Yeah, okay. But how about easing my embarrassment with a raise in my allowance? I just gave you a raise ten minutes ago. Yeah, I know, but that was before I looked at myself in the mirror. <laughs> right, here we go. Go to your cabinet. Right. Uh, 
not you, Vicky. Move. Okay. Mrs. Lawson? Uh, yes, uh, Dr. Elliot? Indeed. Oh, well, good. Come on in. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much for coming to the house. No problem. It was on the way to the golf course. <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm Ted Lawson, and this is... <laughs> and this is little Vicky. <laughs> what a pretty little girl. <laughs> now... Well, Open wide, sweetheart. Oh, I can see you've got a real heartbreaker here. <laughs> She's something special, all right. Uh, 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 don't try to talk, honey. Just keep that thermometer under your tongue. Now, we're going to listen to that little heart of yours, princess. Ooh, what a healthy little girl. Huh, look at those broad shoulders. <laughs> Normal. Good, good, good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. With eyelashes like those, you could grow up to be a Miss America. <laughs> Not if I could help it. <laughs> She's something of a tomboy. Oh, oh. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, that's my office. Can I call him? Oh, oh certainly. Uh, the phone is right over there on the desk. Oh, thank you. Dad, Vicky's shoes are killing me. Hang in there, Miss America. <laughs> Just be glad she doesn't wear a training bra. <laughs> I'll, I'll be right there. I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, I have to be going. Emergency doctor? Yes. If I'm out of that golf course in 10 minutes, they'll tee off without me. <laughs> <laughs> I think little cutie pie here is in fine shape. So long, sweetheart. Mm. Yeah! How gross can I be wearing girls' clothes? Oh, don't get too upset, Tootsie. I mean, Dustin Hoffman almost won an Academy Award for doing it. Widgie diggy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is my 63rd adoption ceremony. Well, we couldn't have gotten this far without you, Mrs. Fernwell. Oh, well, mind you, the court hearing isn't for several months, but that's just a formality. For all practical purposes, you can now consider Vicky your daughter. yoo -hoo, it's me! Oh, great, just what we needed. Miss Kitty Litter of 1985. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. This is so exciting. <laughs> Do come in. Oh, well, I just happened to look in the window and saw the balloons and the flowers, and then Harriet told me that she had hid my present in here. It is so neighborly of you to give me this surprise birthday party. Oh. <laughs> and you don't even have to yell surprise. Oh. <laughs> Bonnie, this party isn't for you. This party's for Vicky. Oh? It's her birthday, too. I wasn't even invited. Nope, it's not her birthday, and you're still not invited. <laughs> no, Bonnie, you see, we've uh, legally adopted Vicky. Uh, well, with the help of Mrs. Fermold here. Adopted her. Oh, this is wonderful. Yes, and could we get on with the ceremony? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, of course. <laughs> May we stay? <laughs> Wouldn't be the same without you. Dear ones, this placement ceremony shows that the state is satisfied, and so am I. That the Lawson family will give Vicki Ann Smith everything that she needs to grow physically, mentally, and spiritually. Oh. <laughs> this is so touching. And it could never have happened without my anonymous phone call. <laughs> well, I thought it was my civic duty, what with all that's going on with children these days. Well, she's got a point, Ted. Yeah, I guess so. Well, all's well that ends well. <laughs> Indeed. And congratulations. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Congratulations, Jamie. Thank you. Ah, what'd you do that for? Now I'll 
only distemper shots. <laughs> Vicky, dear, how do you feel about all this? Now I won't have to be dismantled. <laughs> Why don't we dismantle Harriet instead? <laughs> She'll enchant you at your sight. She's a small.